can now observe. So in this software we have five modules. First is solid part, sheet metal part, we have weldment, welding, then we have assembly of components, then last is the drawing. So for your syllabus we are using the drawing. So in this module we have to select drawing and before entering to the, to the software, this option you can observe last, that is apprentice mode. It should, should not be clicked OK. Understood? Earlier it was clicked OK, should not be clicked OK. Should be open like this. Then click drawing. Now if it is clicked like that, what will happen? These all commands will be in the same window. Understood? Otherwise, some text command or some options will go outside because of the larger view. That's why we are not selecting the apprentice mode. So that apprentice mode should be open. Now, now this is one sheet you can observe here. So drawing means we are going for two dimensional drawing on a sheet. So here already there is a sheet. So which type of sheet it is now? <laughs> Some sheet it is. So for that sheet, which sheet we want now? We want A4. So to change that properties, what you can do is at the left bottom, okay, this bottom you can see sheet 1, it is written there. So if you right click the mouse button, right click the mouse button, in this you can observe many options. At the first option is sheet setup, understood? If I click the sheet setup, see, now there is size, background, different things are there. If I go to size and if I select A4 wide, see number of sheets are there, n number of sheets are there, here I want A4 wide, landscape, so that is called as landscape, sheet, A4, that I will click here. If I select the size first, background sheet is not changing, it is still A2. So better what I will tell to you is, go to sheet 1, right click, go to sheet setup, in this, First only you select A4 background sheet, getting the idea? First select the A4 background sheet, now go to size, main sheet size, what is this size? A4. So in the background sheets first select A4, then in the size automatically it will take A4 white sheet, it will be easy. Now if you click OK, for the next time again for one more sheet, again I have to follow the same thing, otherwise you can click on save defaults. Save defaults means if I take 10 sheets or 11 sheets, same A4 sheet will be available. No need to change from A2 to A4 or A1 to A2, A4. So no need to change again and again. So once I will take A4 background as well as main sheet size and I will click save default. Got it? Save default I will click and click OK. Done. Now sheet re reduced from A2 to A4 sheet. So now this sheet is not fitting in the window. What I will do? I will go to this relationship bar or the main toolbar and here I have fit command. Understood? So from center all the arrow marks are coming out. That option is fit command. So I will, if I click that fit command, it will fit to this window. Now, is this table is required for you? So these tables are used for industries like the drawing done, title of the drawing, okay, date when you have done, then engineering, drawing, checked by some people, okay, then the different angle of projections, scale used, so different options will be there. So this table we don't want, this table you have to delete it. And to delete this table, see if I select this line, if I click it here, it will not select. Why? Because it is the main working sheet. So you have to go to background sheet. For that you have to go to view, see here, on the drop down box or the drop down menu, this menu is called as drop down menu, file, edit, view, like this in every software it will be there, if you open any software it will be, there will be file, edit, view, like this will be there, in that I will go to view, so there is background option and working sheet option, yes, and working sheet is operating now because it is switched on. 
and background sheet is switched off so first you switch on the background sheet and we don't want the working sheet switch off it okay then again it is converted into a2 to a4 background sheet again go to fit command fit it now can you observe this world what is this background on this background don't draw any problems understood in this background we are going to give only details of the person like your name roll number signature of the staff and title of the problem those things will give on the background sheet now this table can be removed here see now it is selecting see if i click here it will select and by selecting all single lines it will take more time so better what you can do you can click outside the table and you drag a box without releasing the mouse button i'll just drag it and enclose it in a box now release the mouse button now it will select complete table now press delete by the keyboard so just delete i'll press so now table is gone now i don't want this table again make a box here see while selecting also this this toolbar is called as ribbon bar see ribbon bar whenever you take any option if i take any option this ribbon bar will change according to that option and from the ribbon bar only you have to change the properties of that <coughs> element so to change the properties of the element or the option you have to use ribbon bar okay so first i'll go to select option now ribbon bar is changed now now what is written here it is inside inside means whatever selection i will do inside that box everything will be selected if i select outside see i have selected outside now i will make a box here i'll drag a box to select the table is the table is selected no outside whatever it may be there it will be selected so you have to take care here whenever you to go for any option check the ribbon bar what it is written so select it make it inside then select the table then delete it understood so now the sheet is plain now you start your work so first what you do is for all the problems you have to write your name your roll number title of the problem then signature of the staff you have to write for all the papers so for that what you are doing is on one sheet you write it and this background will be same for all the main sheets you want to solve 10 problems so for all 10 problems what i will do only one pep on one page i will make the table name if i write the name on background sheet if i insert all the main sheets 10 sheets or 100 sheets or all 100 sheets your name will be there okay so how to do it so this is the drawing toolbar see this is what is this drawing views toolbar this is drawing toolbar and so you can fix it anywhere whatever the convenient position you want you can fix it now from this drawing toolbar first option is line option then beside this line there is a small arrow mark are you getting this for every option there is a small black arrow mark beside if i click there i will get line and point yes sir so to make a table i will take line option and see once i'll take the line option this ribbon bar will change and on this ribbon bar i have different options the color option i have so don't use any color for your solving the problems color is not required here always black next is type of line so type of line we have continuous line hidden line this is the hidden line dash line then i told you different lines we are using axis line chain line okay different lines are there these are used for different purpose now first you use the continuous line then select the thickness see for selecting the thickness next to type of line if you click there different options are available or else whatever is written in the blue color see it is highlighted once you once i click the thickness it will show this number by blue color which you can edit it so how much i want i want 0.5 so just i will enter my keyboard and press enter 
Now that line, whatever I will draw, it will be 0.5 mm. So before drawing, you take that thickness, 0.5 already taken, enter and draw the table at the bottom, not at the top. At the bottom, very near to this line, somewhere here, I will start the line. See, to draw a line, just touch here. Once you touch this line by the cursor of the point, it will show red color. Means that cursor is on that line. If I click somewhere else, it will be away from the line. Getting this idea? Or else what you can do is, you can go to tools and in these tools, this alignment indicator maintain relationship are already on. Don't switch off them. It's very important. Alignment indicator and maintain relationship. These should be always on. If you remove alignment indicator, then you will not get the horizontal or vertical alignment or else you will not get the proper alignment in the projectors from A dash to A or front view of B to top view of B. That alignment will go. So there, that should be on always. Then below this, we are using IntelliSketch. Am I going fast or is it okay? So la next option is IntelliSketch. So this IntelliSketch is very, very important. In this IntelliSketch, we have three options and we are using relationship box. Okay. Go to IntelliSketch in the tools, IntelliSketch and go to relationships. And you can observe the first option is end point. Okay. Then we have midpoint. Say for example, I want to click the from midpoint of the line. Have to measure it. If you measure it, take 50% of that line at exactly half you draw the line. It will take more time. So already they have given midpoint option. Okay, it is there. End of the line is option is there. Then we have option called as point on a line. So what table I am drawing, it is a point on a line, that's all. So that should be on here. The point on a line. Then this is the center of a circle. The plus with a circle. That is center. Then this side we have intersection. This is also very important. Intersection. Intersection option is there. Then different options are there like tangent, parallel, perpendicular. Then this option is very important. See here. Horizontal and vertical. This option should be always on. Understood? So before starting any problem, you make sure that in the tools, alignment indicator, maintain relationship should, should be on. And you have to use this IntelliSketch properly. Whenever you want intersection, take only intersection. Switch off end point, mid point, everything. When you solve the problem, you'll see how it is. Then last, it is extensions. So for this extensions, this should also be every, every, always on. Then only it will take the alignment. So we'll see now. So click OK. Now I want to draw a table. See, I'll come at the bottom. What it is showing now? One small line is there. On that dot, it is showing an arrow mark. Point on the line. Now that cursor point is on the line. Click there. Once you click it, just move the mouse. Later, I have to get the word horizontal line, perfect horizontal line. Yes or no? If that alignment is not there, you may click somewhere here like this in the hurry. What will happen? This line is how much? Is 0.5 degree. It's not horizontal. Then to change it again, you have to change the dimension. So don't do that. Don't do that. So I'll do undo or you can press Ctrl Z to come out of that option. Ctrl Z or else this option, undo. This is redo. Redo if I press again, it will come. If I, if I don't want, press undo. Next. So I'll take the line. So I'll draw a line here. See what is this now? Now the cursor is, uh, is on. Cursor point is on the line. And that line is horizontal. Yes or no? So just click there. Now computer is also guiding you how to draw it. 
Now, still the line is continuous. So to come out of this, you can press escape from the keyboard or else right click the mouse button. Got it? Now one line is over. Now I will make a table here. So for this, this much space I will take for writing the name. Okay, some space I will take for writing name. See, check these options, IntelliSketch options. It is on the line, it is vertical, click there. Next, roll number. Roll number I will write here. Now it is vertical, click there. Now after that title of the problem, projection of points, that I will write here. And at the end is staff sign, here. So I have made different parts. Name, roll number, title of the problem and signature. Now come to the alphabets here. This is the text command. The option with capital A at the bottom. If you are not seeing, I will take this side. Here, this option is text. So I will take that option, text command. Now see, once I take the text command, it will ask for the different font. Now by default, what is there? Solid edge is there. Solid edge font. So this font I will change it to Times New Roman. Is that clear? Times New Roman I will take. And already this, by default it is 3.5 mm. So for lettering I have given you 3.5 mm. Enough. Don't change that. Okay. Now you write the name. Say for example, like this I will write the name now. Now it is correct. Now it is Times New Roman and it is 3.5. Say for example, I will take again text command. Earlier it was solid is something, font and it was 3.5. Now I will write something name. It's not correct coming here. Wait. Solid edge ISO. See now this font is different, yes or no? So this is the zoom command. See sometimes this font is different and it may not be visible properly. What you have to do? Again go for that, press escape, click here. Again change the font, again change the thickness of lines, it will take more time. So better what I am telling is, before drawing anything, from the ribbon bar you select the different options, what you want. Understood? Later you don't waste the time. So I will take the text command again. I want Times New Roman 3.5. Okay. Then how to come out of this option now? It is zoom, zoom page. I have to fix this sheet in the given window. What is that option? fit command. So again go for this fit command, click there. So again your name is available. So write your name. So I will write my name. Okay. Then your roll number. So some roll number you write it. Then see, at the end, here you have to write the title. What is the title? Title is projection of points. So this you type by keyboard over. Then last is what? Sign. S I G N. Done. Now background sheet is ready. Have you got it? How to prepare the background sheet? So on the background sheet I have given the details of the operator or details of the drawing person who has drawn it. That details I have given. Now I will go to the main working sheet. So again go to views. Now background sheet is on. Leave it. Working sheet is off. Switch on the working sheet. Then switch off the background sheet. Now check again. It is in working sheet. Yes or no? Now it is in working sheet. Now you can draw the problem. 
Now what I'll do, say for example you, you want to solve five problems. So just go to sheet one, right click again. So there is an option called as insert. If you click on insert, one more sheet will come with same background. So like this I'll put some number of pages, three, four and five. Is there any change in the background? No. All the details are there. So no, no need to again change the background sheets. So like this you make number of files. One file with five problems or six problems for points, one file for lines, one file for development, one file for planes, another for solids and isometry. So like this you prepare for the first time and keep it aside in a folder. Understood? So that why what will happen whenever, whenever you start lines, already the sheets are available. Just go on drawing it. Then whenever you start the solids, again sheets are available, you start drawing. Got it? Now, after doing this, first you save your file. Say for example in exam, current will go, what will do? Without saving, everything will go. Everything will be deleted. So that's how, that's why in the exams or in lab also you go on saving the file for every 5 minutes or 10 minutes. Okay? See, so go to save file, click save. Now it is asking, what name you want to give? So I have created a folder here. One folder I can create. So you can go to any other folders and cre create a folder. And in this folder you can give the name. Folder name I have given. Now see, for giving the file name, it is written as draft1.dft. Don't change that .dft. Because it is a format of the solid edge file. Like dot .doc, doc file, dot .pdf. That we are not changing. So change only draft1. So draft1, I will change it to points. Or you write your roll number. So that you can differentiate between other files. Okay. Points and your roll number you can write. Dot .dft, you don't change. Now I will save it. Done. Now the sheet is ready. Okay. Now I will show two problems how to solve. So in that two problems I will show all the options which are required for points. Understood? So anybody is having the first problem where the point is on first quadrant. Is there? So I will take one problem. See now. In the software we are drawing, okay, what required that, again you have to think, again you have to draw all things, then you draw it together. Already the drawings are available. You have maintained all the time in drawing this and you have understood all the concepts. So see that's the problem. Don't just come to the PC, sit there, then go on thinking it. So whatever is there, there here, you have to do Why? Because in the exam, if you draw the solution like this and if you change anything or if you change any color from this problem and if you change the problem in the printer that is not considered. Once you complete the drawing, that's why drawing is important. Once you complete the drawing, same thing you have to reproduce in the piece. Is that clear? So I'll just see this and according to this I will not I don't think that side is this side or that side I don't know. Whatever you do is all of it. So now what I'll do, I'll take the first question. All of you see the first question, what you have solved. So first what I have to draw? So first I have to draw the XY line. So for drawing the XY line, go to line option. Again, click on the line option. See, don't draw directly like this. What I have to do? Before drawing a line, what I have to do? Select the thickness, I have written here. Take the line, xy. What is the xy line thickness? 0.15. Correct it is? Enter. Now I will start from this end, xy. Now if it is in first quadrant or third quadrant, draw the xy line in the middle. If it is in the second quadrant or if it is in fourth quadrant, 
toit below or above. Why? Because both the views or the three views are below or above. That is left to you. Now, see, the line is horizontal. Just I'll keep it here. Done. So, x y line is over. Name it. So, go to again text command. What is this end? So, before naming it, you check this. Times New Roman is there. Yes. Now, right. X, this side. Y. Over. X, Y is done. Now, point. Or go to again text command. Write HP and BP. Where is HP? Above X, Y. And below X, Y? VP. Click there and write the VP. Done. So I have completed the planes. Planes is over. Now draw the point. Is there any doubts here? Is it simple now? Tell something. Understood? Okay. Now see, beside this line there is an option called line and point. Both point I will select. Now go to See, for point there is no hidden point or visible point. Point is continuous, only one point. For that there is no use of these lines. Don't select this. Go to thickness. What is the point thickness? 2 mm. Already it is available. Don't type. Click 2 mm. Done. Now see, where I want the point. You see this figure. In this drawing, the front view is on the left side. If it is on the right side, click right side. So now just I will click on the left side here, somewhere here. Point is there. Understood? Now, on the same alignment, see alignment means I have to touch this point. It will show. What is that option? End point. So end point I will select without clicking. Just touch this and come down. It will show some alignment. Are you getting this dotted line? small dotted line means it is telling that on the same projection line the top view is coming or if I, if I want to draw the side view touch this point go in the horizontal direction see getting this idea so this option is available only when you click this alignment indicator on and in the tools IntelliSketch relationship tools you have to click this option extension lines this both should be on then only it will go otherwise see I'll switch off this now I'll switch off this now it is showing I'll switch off the alignment indicator also now check now take point touch this point now come beside is it showing anything again touch this point vertically move down vertically see it's not showing any alignment so it cannot change or you don't know where the point is coming. So you maintain that alignment indicator option on. Don't switch off. And go to again IntelliSketch. Switch on this extensions. On. So again take the point of 2mm. Already it is taken. Touch this point. Move downwards. Just click it. Later we will take the dimensions. I will click it. Got it. What is the point above x, y? Is front view a dash. Small letters a dash. What is the point below x, y? Is top view a. Over. Now go to distance between. See here. Distance between command. In the drawing toolbar. There is a distance between command. You can select distance between. See now, XY is fixed. XY we are not moving, we are moving the points. So select point first, which is moving. So I will select point first, end point, and line. If you select it, it will give some other distances. See, horizontal also it is giving, it may give vertical also. So here you have to move the mouse. Wherever you want to show the dimension, you can move that side and click on the line. If you dimension here itself, below the line, what will happen? You are not able to draw the projection line. So beside the projection line, 
after some half centimeter you click here now after clicking it will ask the dimension here on the ribbon bar what is the dimension 39.86 how much we want 25 just edit it 25 enter now that point will move to 25 over now while moving this alphabets don't click on the letter a okay when you touch this a there is a box red color box is there on that box lines you click then you can move it if you click on the letter itself it will ask for the editing see like this you have to edit it i'm sure so better what you do is click on the line so click on the line and bring it towards top you next distance between again distance between i'll take from the point which is moving to the fixed line xy bring near to this click here now it is 51 how much we want 30 so enter 30 press enter then again move this top view towards point over now front and top views are over what is left there projection line before side view we have to draw the projection line see so now projection line while drawing this line many people what they will do is see from this point they will touch it they will come above on this alignment they will draw the line this is wrong method why because the point and lines are not touching there is no relationship between point and line this is the wrong method because later if i transfer this projection a and b in the lines or side view or the rpp to this distance only line will move points will be there only just check here i will draw xy line roughly i am drawing see this will be xy for example i will take the distance between i want distance between this projector line and this rpp how much for example 20 enter what is moving only projector line is moving points are there only so what i have to do is take line of proper thickness 0.5 sorry projection line is 0.05 enter now draw the projection line from front to top okay now now see now i will draw one xy line roughly here parallel to that now change the distance between from this line to this line i want 20 now with the points the line is moving so there is no change in alignment alignment is maintained points are at the different uh, given position and also the rpp is also in front of both the points at some distance this you can do so now here there is no distance given correct so leave it take only x dash y dash so again go to alphabets i will write it as x dash or x1 also you can write then y dash done now what else is remaining arrow mark i am taking the projection line from front view to top view there one arrow mark will come so for that arrow mark there is a option called leader in the drawing view toolbar see that option in that option there are many different options call out balloon connector then leader so i have to select leader option arrow mark with a plus mark so that leader option i will select it now again there is a ribbon bar so in this ribbon bar what you can do you can select the properties of that leader line go to leader line this in this ribbon bar don't change this iso okay let it be there only go to properties click there change the color of that aroma what color black and don't change these all dimensions let it be like that only and change this to arrow field arrow field i want click there and click okay now see the line is going downwards so start from downside if i click on the downside on this line see now point is on the line click there 
so it will give a arrow mark is it upside or downside it will be downside so click there now arrow mark is over you can tell that I, we are not able to see the arrow mark properly yes or no this is because of the graphics properties of the software but if you zoom it the arrow marks will be like this see in the printout you will observe like this once you take a print the arrow marks will be very sharp and it will be filled so don't observe on that so just follow the procedure again fit it now I will draw the side view now for drawing the side view what is the procedure I will take the line I will project both the front and top views on the horizontal line towards right side why because I have taken H dash values here so for taking the projection line I will change the thickness what is the thickness for projection lines 0 0.05 enter now again from this end line I will take some projection line horizontal bits again from this end to here ok now where I have to draw the 45 degree line below or above below side of the top view so take again line same thickness now see where, from where I have to start now from intersection so for intersection option you touch both the lines don't click it first line and vertical line then come to center now what it is showing is it intersection point this is the midpoint midpoint of that vertical line that we don't want now for this you go to tools tools click on intellisketch go to relationship I don't want midpoint switch off this I want only intersection still I don't want end point I don't want point on the line I, do, I want only intersection click ok now again touch these two lines horizontal vertical and come to the center now what is this option is intersection or else for intersection point both the lines should be red color once the both the lines are red color means you are on the center point or the intersection point there I will click and I will take the angle now while taking the angle on the ribbon bar it is showing length and angle length is not fixed you can take anywhere angle is how much 45 in this direction how much it is minus 45 here it is plus 45 here it is 140 how much 135 here it is minus below x y angles are minus or else better what you can do is just click here somewhere now I'll change the angle so go to angle between see in the distance between command click on the small arrow mark here I have distance between angle between so click on the angle between now see for angle between you select any two lines which are at angles not parallel lines I will select these two lines or bottom line also you can select select these two lines it will ask for the angle now click it now what is the angle 37.3 change it to 45 4 now 40 degree, 45 degree line is over so if you don't follow this intersection point what will happen at the side view you will get the length in more than 2 mm or less than 2 mm like that the accurate dimensions you will not get so this intersection point is very important in points as well as lines or in any of the problems now I will turn the top view projection line by 90 degrees on this intersection point so take in the vertical direction now it is crossing the front view projection line now I have got just the intersection point where the side view is coming is there any point now point is not there so take point take the point change the thickness to 2 and fix it on this intersection if I take the point of only 0 0.05 mm and if I fix the point is it visible that's why you take the 2 mm more than that so 2 mm point I am taking and I am fixing it on the side intersection this 
Now give the name. This name is what? A double dash. Then arrow marks. Again go to leader. Leader towards right side I want. So from right side you start. It will give the arrow mark and click on this. And sometimes what happens because of this option. Leader get line. If this is on, it will not fix on the line. See. Sometimes see. Leader. This option is on now. If I draw this line, it will not fix. Sometimes it will not fix. In that case, you switch off this option. Okay. So there is red line will come there. Now what is the problem here? Arrow mark. It is in green color. So select both the arrow marks. Change the color to black. And click OK. Then one more arrow mark here. So click on this line and again change the color to black. Black. Done. So now is this the completion of the problem? Is there any things which are remaining? Everything is done. Or still if you want anything, you can take the alphabet, you can write still front view. See if you once you write the A dash itself is the front view. Understood? Or still if you want to make some more things, front view you can write, top view. And which side view it is in the first quadrant? Left side view, very good. Left side view is on right profile plane. Done. So now I solved one problem. Now next I will go to sheet 2. So next I will show for the arc method, shorter distance. How to take that arc? Or else I, here only I will show the sheet one. So drawing the front view and top view understood? Okay. Now, any doubts are there? Ah, oh, sorry. VP is above, HP is below. Correct. Okay. Then, so now I'll take one more problem. So just I'll remove this side view. This I'll remove. And to remove these lines, you can go for trim option. There are the option called as trim. You can go for that option. I don't want these lines. Just click on that lines. We'll go. X, Y is required. These lines are not required. So trim option that I will remove, portion of that line I will remove. Now, see to draw that arc from the intersection, see below this point and line there is an option called as curve. After that curve there is an option called as tangent arc, arc by three points, then arc by center point. So arc by center is the option what we have to use. So click there. See now, if you are not understanding any option, once you click any option, it will give here. Below the ribbon bar you can read what it is written. Click for the center point for the arc. That's all. So first click the center. What is the center? Center of these two lines. Yes or no? So here I will click this. Then where I have to draw the arc? Below or above? Shorter distance from the x1. There the side view is there. Above side of the front view. So there I will draw the arc. Before drawing this arc, above the ribbon bar, it is written as radius and sweep. So radius you enter. How much is the radius? 40 m. Correct? And don't enter the sweep. Sweep you decide. Sweep I will take arc from this line. Up to here I will draw. So sweep angle is something different. And change the thickness. What is the thickness for this? What is this arc? It is also a construction line. So construction line is 0 0.05. Sorry. Thickness. Thickness is this. Thickness 0 0.05. Enter. Now extend that line. You can draw one more line. 
or else to have the continuous line you can go for this option beside the trim option there are four different options still in that there is option called as extend to next that option also i can use or else you can draw the lines so i will use extend to next or you can draw from a dash to a double dash so just i'll touch this line there is a boundary for that line then only it will take extension there is a boundary which is done by arc so up to that the line will go if i want to extend this xy is it taking ex extension no i need some boundaries here if i draw boundary it will take extension from the up to that line so now i got the side view so name that side view this side view is a double dash small letter a double dash is it correct now place the point point of thickness 2 mm here intersection click there now this is the side view of point now take again line thickness 0.05 enter and join to the top view see up to what line i have to draw i don't know just touch this line and come this side it will give the alignment it's not giving just draw one vertical line and just extend this line up to here or else what i'll do i will delete this line this is one more option i take the line 0.05 enter so from top view see this what is not showing now it is not showing the end point what i have to do i cannot click here it's not showing any option go to tools intellisketch switch on this end point i want end point click okay now come to this point so these clickings with the proper options is very important if you click somewhere else that is the wrong in software you might not see that but in while taking the print out you will come to know some distance will be there from point to that line so i'll just draw the horizontal line yes sir no so now how i have rotated this yes without arc i have to do by 45 degree line with arc means you will get the side view directly yes sir no is it over now anything else is remaining so for checking this problem whether it is correct or no you take the zoom command and check these all points like this zoom zoom this point now see on the arc there is a intersection point and you have placed the side view of the point also there is no distance means this problem is correct then fit it then again check the front views is there any difference no understood now the arc radius we have not shown so for that you can go for smart dimension above that distance between there is a option called as smart dimension smart dimension means you can select just one line in distance between you have to select point and line or line to line difference in the smart distance what i'll do i'll just click on the arc that's all automatically it will take the center okay another point is not required click the arc it will take the radius and just click here what is the radius r4 is the radius say for example smart dimension i, I want here the length of this line to click it it will give the distance so this is smart distance without any clicking on two different positions to click one element it will give the distance so now again go to trim some lines are not required here these lines are not required over now this problem is complete so i think all the options i have shown for which are required for the points okay so in the next lab you solve the problems on the points later we will discuss the options for lines
not much in that. You already have understood. 90 percent you understood of the lines by this. Okay. So now I'll stop the recording.